Welcome to another tutorial by Finshoot. If you haven't already visited our website, be sure to check out finshoot.com where you'll find a number of videos on investment banking, forex, equities, commodities and more. If you like this video, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when new videos are released. Comparing company multiples is one of the first tasks that any investment banking analyst is likely to be assigned. The actual calculation of these multiples is very straightforward, however it is important to understand what goes into these multiples or ratios and it is also important to know what ratios to use and when. Firstly this tutorial will look at how you can find the core financial information to allow you to compute your own ratios and then we'll look at using Bloomberg's relative value function to assess how a particular company stacks up against its competitors. We will then look at changing the compar company comparables to suit a particular area and we'll end the tutorial by looking at how you can start to create your own comparable sheets or comps by exporting Bloomberg data into Excel. Okay, let's get started. First we need a company to compare, so for the purpose of this exercise I'm going to use Goldman Sachs. To find the financial information of Goldman Sachs you'll first need to enter in GS up the top in the menu bar, GS followed by exchange, equity and FA. So from this screen here you'll be able to find your key financial statements as your income statement, your balance sheet and your cash flow statements here. So this is great if you want the core data to be able to then use this and export this to do your own ratios in Excel. If you did want to have a look at the ratios that Bloomberg provides, you can click on the ratios tab at the top here and you can also sort these ratios along here. However, what people do tend to forget is under key stats there are also ratios as well. So we can have a look at enterprise value here and this will give us all our enterprise value ratios if you just scroll down. Same thing goes as well for your multiples and this is a good place to start. So you can also have a look at here and this will calculate these as well. And often again it will do your estimated ratios as well. So to find the actual companies that will compare with um, Goldman Sachs today, a good place to start is using the Bloomberg Industries feature. If you've never done this before, we can go to Bloomberg Industries by going BI to get to the function. Um, however, if you do know what you're looking for, you can go straight to BI IBNK and this will bring you to the investment banking component of the Bloomberg Industries. So from here you can get a lot of different information obviously bulls and bears so forth which we've covered in, in one of ours before but what we want to look at now is looking at featured data under the data library tab. So under featured data here you can pull up a lot of different information but what we want to do is have a look at some particular companies of interest and have a look at comparing those. So in here I might select say Bank of America, let's use some of the big ones, we will go to City. Credit Suisse, Goldman Sachs, Society General and JP Morgan. We'll leave it at that. I can update that now. And as you can see, as soon as it's been updated, we can actually view the data of all these in a lot of different ways. So if you scroll down on the right hand side here, you'll see a lot of the different ratios that it provides, which is a really good snapshot of uh, ratio analysis here for for these companies. So, remember, if you're not sure of what some of these ratios are that we've seen today, we do have um, a lot of them featured on the website as well. So, if you, if you're not familiar with what some of the terminology is or how to calculate these and get a bit of background information on them, then be sure to go to finshoot.com where you can read a bit more about those and get familiar with those before you try calculating them yourself I guess. That's going to conclude uh, this one today. In part two we're going to have a look at how you can export those into Excel, some of these ratios and how you can use the field function to do that. So um, please be sure to click on the next video and we'll take it from there. This has been another video from Finshoot. 
If you like these, please visit us at finshoot.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe at YouTube.